Hi there, I'm playing with Chunk again, and this time I have a huge audio amplifier. It's a car amplifier that runs with 12 volt supply, and they say it has 1000 watt on 4 ohm, uh, 4 ohm uh, speakers, and it has up to 1600 watt on 2 ohm speakers. Well, let's see if these watts are real watts or fantasy watts. PMPO. It already starts with the acronym. There is no defined acronym at all. Uh, you can combine all these words here as you want. You can also make a pulse music, power output, so that all means it's a non-defined standard or, well, it's not a standard at all. If you measure power correctly, you take the RMS value of a sine wave, that's about 70% of the peak value, it's 1 divided by a square root of 2 times the peak value, or peak value divided by square root of 2, which is 1.414. And of course, if you have the peak peak value, it's half of that. You can see that here in this uh, graphic. And uh, of course, the most important part is you have a continuous wave, not just a, a small pulse or a power peak or something. You have a, a sine wave, normally one kilohertz when you're measuring uh, audio equipment. You can also take another frequency if that is more interesting for you. But the uh, standard is one kilohertz, continuous sine wave. That's how we measure real power. Okay, so let me first show you my setup here. That's the amplifier. I'm uh, using a pretty large battery for the power supply because I don't have a power supply that puts out 50 amps or something on 12 volt. Then I have my power supply with a maximum of 15 amps that charges the battery and the battery is the main supply for the amplifier. Then I have here my new self-made power load. It's, uh, it simulates um, speakers. You can switch it from 8 ohm to 4 ohms. It has four large 4 ohms, 4 ohm resistors inside. Um, two for each channel and in the 4 ohm position one of them will be shorted so 4 ohm is left and when the switch is out 2 in series is 8 ohm. Then I have uh, control speakers with a switch to reduce the, the loudness because you don't want to hear that 1 kilohertz uh, test tone all the time. But you still can check if everything sounds all right. Then we have a function generator. It's the Rigol DG1062 set. And we have an oscilloscope to measure the, wave, the waveform and to see if the waveform is distorted or not. The amplifier is already connected to the battery and that's the remote uh, pin that has to go to positive uh, 12 volt and that powers the amplifier on. We see we don't see a green light. Maybe takes... oh! That's the wrong one. That's 12 volt. Now we have a green light. It's a 1 kilohertz signal. At the moment very low. And let's try to find out where the maximum is. I start to increase the input signal. 
and as you see the output signal, signal gets larger the power supply starts humming because it has to recharge the battery and now we can see it starts to distort the, the sine wave it's not a sine wave anymore and by the way you can also hear that this is a clean sine wave you can hear it now it starts to distort and now the distortion is clearly uh, audible and that's the reason why I have a enough function for these speakers here so let's take the maximum oh, we do have AC RMS that's certainly wrong so we have a peak peak value of 126 27 let's say 27 peak peak uh, we divide it by 2 that's peak then 1.414 divide that's RMS square root of 2 1.414 and we have at the moment 8 ohms so I have programmed that this is 252 watts nowhere near the 1000 we should have but they said 1000 at 4 ohms okay let's switch to 4 ohms now I switch to 4 ohms and repeat the whole trick that's the distortion we go below that yeah about this we have a peak to peak uh, 117 let's see 117 divided by 2 1.414 divide that's this and now we have 4 ohms that's program B 427 watts mm. instead of 1000 ok but they say 1600 at 2 ohms we can also make 2 ohms and all I have to do for 2 ohms is to connect the other 4 ohms in parallel. I know my wires here are a little bit thin, but we are only measuring for a short moment, so they should survive. And we certainly don't have 1600 watts let's find out how much we actually have I'm going up we are now now at 2 ohms yeah there is the distortion going back yeah about like that uh, that's 98 volts let's see 98 divided by 2 1.414 divide uh, 2 ohms is program C 600 watts well it's not even half of, of, of what it should be well the question is how do they measure this PMPO watts so I set up my uh, frequency generator here we have on channel A we have a sine wave 1 kilohertz and on channel 2 we have a, let me see how is this called here well we have a pulse 
why is it not on pools? Ah, here. We have a, a pulse waveform. Uh, with a duty cycle of 0.5%. So it's only a very small pulse. And I'm modulating that via the output going to the modulating input of channel 1. And the result is something like that. A short burst of sine wave. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's crank up the power. Okay, now it works. It didn't like this voltage spike at the beginning, but I shifted the phase a little bit, so we have a cleaner beginning here. Uh, it's 138. That's so much. Then we have 4 ohms. That's 595 ohms. Uh, watts. Okay, still not 1000. And I made another measurement and I put it to the absolute maximum. You see we already have distortion here, but the first two sine waves, they are almost okay. So if we take that value as our PMPO value, it's 145 volts and that corresponds to 657 watts output at 4 ohm. And now let's repeat that in, uh, experiment with 2 ohm. And here we have the waveform for 2 ohms. You also see we have distortion here, but the first two sine waves here are okay, so we take that value, it's 135 volts, peak, peak, and that's 135 divided by 2, 1.414 divide, and now we have 2 ohms, that's program C, we are at 1139 watts. It should have 1600, but at least we are above 1000 watts. That's pretty impressive, but it's also a pretty fake reading because we already have a lot of distortion, but that's how these things are measured. And now the biggest question of them all, what's inside this thing? Let's take it apart. Well, well, I didn't expect too much, but well, I'm still a little bit disappointed how few parts there are inside. So, first of all, the whole part here, that's the DC-DC converter, because we need a higher voltage. You have seen on the oscilloscope we are dealing with 50, 100 volt peak, peak and so, and we only have a 12 volt power supply, which is here. And uh, that's the whole amplifier board. And by the way, I forgot to mention, this is only a mono uh, amplifier, so it's only for a subwoofer, for one speaker. It has two speaker outputs, but that is meant to connect two speakers in parallel to get these 2 ohms instead of 4 ohms. And the red and black wire here, that's the speaker power, comes from the amplifier, goes to the terminals here. And you also see they didn't bother to take a thicker wire because we are nowhere near this 1600 watts 
And speaking of what is possible and what not, we have here the input fuses. There are two fu fuses in parallel, each one 30 amps. That makes 60 amps in total. That's for the power input, not for the speakers. And just for the fun of it, oh, dusty display, we have 60 amps times 12 is 720 watts. So if you actually get more output than 720 watts, you will blow the fuses sooner or later. But since this whole watt thing here is PMPO, you don't have to worry about the fuses, it's nowhere near of that value. Uh, the whole board here says I'm made in China, there is no label on the board, no marking, no... Uh, what's the name? Mac Audio label, just a serial number or something. Uh, the capacitors are marked RM don't know what manufacturer that is. There is an RM series of capacitor from Capscon, those with the X instead of the con, um, but that's not this one because there is no Capscon thing, name, brand on the capacitors. So those are probably clones of Chinese capacitors. Um, yeah, okay, so the overall construction doesn't look too bad, so they screw down the transistors properly. They used uh, a silicon pad or an insulation pad with thermal grease, which is still greasy, okay, that's good. Here we have a little board that says remote control on or off. So maybe if you have more than one of these amplifiers, you can hook them together to turn them on or off together. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The smaller transistors here are for the DC converter. The larger are for the uh, power amplifier, I guess but it looks like that, large capacitors. And that's the capacitors that are responsible for this PMPO power uh, output. You can have a short time of high power and then this, the voltage here goes down and you get the distortion you saw on the uh, oscilloscope screen. Yeah. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching.